Welcome to section 35 of viruses. This is our virus overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing norovirus, which you can see right here. This scene takes place back during the time of the Vikings. As you can see, this guy is the leader of the Vikings, and he's boldly crossing the ocean with an axe in one hand and a chalice in the other. Just in case you don't know, a chalice is just a big cup like the one you see the Viking holding up. Chalice sounds kind of like Khaleesi virus, so we've included the chalice front and center to help you remember that norovirus is a member of the family Khaleesi viridae. The Vikings were bold warriors from the Nordic region of the world, so we've made this scene all about Nordic Vikings. Nordic sounds like norovirus, so this shouldn't be too hard to remember. Nordic Viking, norovirus. Before we get too far, take a look at the beautiful orange sunset. This is to help you remember that norovirus is an RNA virus. Remember, warm colors are used to represent RNA viruses, and dark colors are used to represent DNA viruses. So, norovirus is an RNA virus. Next, notice that we've shown this Viking but naked. He is so bold and brave that he doesn't even wear clothes. He only wears his weapons. To spare you from his inappropriate behavior, we've included this black box around his genitals. So anytime you think of this image, just remember the black box surrounding this crazy Viking's genitals, and this should help you remember that norovirus is a non-enveloped or naked virus. To make the background even more beautiful, we've included a rainbow. The positive vibes of the rainbow should help you remember that norovirus is a positive sense virus. Okay, now notice that we've included a fleet of boats behind the leader. In fact, the boats are perfectly lined up behind one another, so you could say that the boats are in a straight line. This linear formation is to help you remember that norovirus is a linear virus. Now we've added this little group of Vikings behind the leader, and they appear to be laughing and having a good time. Perhaps they're excited about raiding a new land, or maybe they're just laughing at this Viking guy who has poop all over the bottom of his shoe. Just like in our other videos, the poop on the shoe is to help you remember that norovirus exhibits fecal oral transmission. Of course, the Vikings can't drink from the ocean during their travels, so they had to bring along some fresh water. You can see that this Viking is pretty thirsty. He's holding up the entire jug and guzzling down as much water as he can get his hands on. Notice that we've made the water jug shaped like an icosahedron. This is to help you remember that norovirus has an icosahedral shaped capsid. Unfortunately, not all of the Vikings are having such a good time on this adventure. As you can see, some of them are pretty seasick, probably because this is their first time out to sea. Anyways, the seasick Vikings vomiting into the water is to help you remember that norovirus causes viral gastroenteritis, which is characterized by vomiting and watery diarrhea. Now notice that the ship in the middle of the fleet has a unique looking sail with a map of the United States on it. This is to help you remember that norovirus is common in developed countries because in these countries, individuals are vaccinated against other infections that would otherwise be more common. For example, in children, rotavirus has historically been the most common cause of viral gastroenteritis throughout the world. However, in developing countries such as the United States, many people are vaccinated against rotavirus. So norovirus ends up becoming more common. So again, sale of the United States for common in developed countries. Okay, we already talked about the water jug shaped like an icosahedron. However, the guy drinking the water out of the jug has a separate meaning. In our videos, we've been showing people drinking water to represent supportive care, because this is basically what supportive care is. Give oral or IV fluids, monitor vitals, and make sure the patient is stable. So the treatment for norovirus is supportive care. Okay, now that we've covered the image, let's do a question. A resident physician is in Nepal on a humanitarian trip when a diarrheal outbreak is reported at a nearby elementary school. Nine children are brought to the clinic after several days of intense vomiting and watery diarrhea. No blood is detected in the stool. None of the children are immunized. Which of the following pathogens is most likely responsible for the outbreak? A. Norovirus B. Adenovirus C. Rotavirus or D. Shigella So from the question stem, hopefully you notice that a diarrheal outbreak in Nepal has affected unimmunized children, so none of them are immunized. This, in conjunction with the absence of blood in the stool, should immediately make you think of viral gastroenteritis. Because this is occurring in a developing country and the children are unimmunized, the pathogen is most likely rotavirus. So the correct answer is C, rotavirus. Remember, rotavirus is more common in developing countries among unimmunized individuals, and norovirus is more common in developed countries among those who are immunized. So A is incorrect. Adenovirus can cause gastroenteritis, but this is a much less common cause of diarrheal outbreaks. It's more classically associated with pharyngitis, conjunctivitis, and coryza. So B is incorrect. Shigella is a bacterial cause of gastroenteritis and is much more likely to result in a bloody type of diarrhea. So D is incorrect. From the image, recall that the sale of the United States right here is here to help you remember that norovirus is more common in developed countries. 